Yep, sorry. To give the Mirana a better mm -hmm. But the counter is there to act as a I don't I don't know if using the counter is the right word, but in the team fights there's gonna be the, the egg and the tree and taking that area, right? So you have the ball in return to try to reclaim that area. So in a way I'm not sure if you can use counter as well, but that's how you want yeah, to you take a fight. Play. Yeah, that's how you want to take a fight against the Phoenix and the Trian. I was going to say they're going to Bristol from LGD, but... So the Bristol is the same as the Nature's Prophet. It's a flexible core. You can go any lane. So they should ban the... Uh, I guess also they are, they, are, they are preparing for the PL. So they want to pick a hero that's really good at dealing with the illusions. Bristol back is decent. Um, but so LGD didn't, go for, didn't opt to go for the PL. They opt to go for the Amber. They want to give... Again, this Amber is like a hero that would give the Mirana a better game because you have a small disable to set up the arrow. And if you look at the first three heroes, Kota, Mirana, Centaur, so they don't really have uh, a lot of uh, disable for the arrow until the Centaur has dagger. And usually you don't really go dagger early. Yeah, I feel like he might actually just go like kind of put Vanguard, like a bunch of utility because it feels like Newbie can just kind of run at them. Trying to see what this last pick might actually be. They're gonna ban the faceless void here. Yeah, I still think PL is like a reasonable pick here. But uh, if they didn't pick the PL at this junction where they picked the Ember, I don't think they want the PL anymore. And but I'm trying to figure out what else do they want here. I mean, it would be nice if they can pick a hero that can swap lanes, so the Ember and you know and the whatever the last pick is can switch depending on. So the flexible, yeah. Yeah, depending on the 22nd pick that newbie's gonna pick. If in the case they pick a lane counter, which makes the Ember can't play his lane. Like usually you go for the like what the razor. The last game that, that was what newbie did. They went for the razor. But he didn't do well in the lane. Razor could be pretty nice actually. To deal with the Bristol. Uh I mean the other hero I could think of is maybe a uh, Sven, if I'm you, if you're looking at dealing with the Nature's Prophet in the lane, and it gives the Mirana a setup for the laning phase as well, so it's easy to kill. But I'm thinking that the Sven doesn't really like playing against the Trian, so it could be also doesn't really feel that great. The the PL pick is the the best one against the Trian, the Nature's Prophet, and the Phoenix. Yeah. But he's not so great against the Bristleback, and you kind of have to anticipate that the the last pick is gonna sort of counter you as well. So you're gonna have two heroes that you don't really want to play against, but you have three heroes that you want to play against. I feel so, like PL is not easy to counter and I'm trying to see what they pick here to actually deal with the Phantom Mantle. Um, Lash Rex, Zeus, I think those are really good I heroes. think that, but Ember just destroys that. Like you can't, they have no way to catch Ember if they go Lash. I feel like then well, that... that's the that's the problem with the first four heroes, you know. It's not the problem with the last pick. Yeah, Look at yeah, the yeah, yeah. The first four heroes has no stun at all. That's, that's the issue when you have this last pick that you have to kind of it feels like a lot of time it's a hero that needs to glue so many kind of issues yeah. together and some of the games we watch uh, they had a, I think especially SAG they whenever they have last pick I always feel like they do a very good job at ticking the boxes in the draft when they pick their first four heroes so that whenever you go to the la oh that was also LGD they whenever they go to the 22nd pick Wow, you, you look at the draft, you're like, oh, they have a lot of options. They can do this, they can do that, because everything is already taken into account, you know, in the first four picks. So the last pick doesn't necessarily have to, oh, you need to have a stun. Oh, no, you need to have team fight because we are lacking this, we are lacking that. And it makes it hard to pick the last hero. As we say, the uh, the OD is going to get banned out, so just to match up, I guess, the uh, the I mean, the, the, protection. the other issue that they have right now is the, the plan, you know, the game plan, because whenever they pick this kind of, Phoenix, Nature's Prophet. It's more of the Nature's Prophet Bristleback core. It's more like you're gonna add, look to end the game at a specific timing, you know. So your your last pick is gonna you you, you want a hero that can help you do that, like Wait. a pushing hero. So, oh. Well, the Legion's I mean, I really good against the Bristle with the jewel. Yeah, I guess the but... Legion is the carry, and the Legion can also deal with the Nature Prophet in the lane. Oh, that's a very very good last pick to to bind up the draft. Uh, all the heroes have very good uh, agonims and it does give them another stun so and looking at the lane the, the important thing is the laning phase he's gonna lane against either the amber or the lc and either way i think he's gonna be able to be farming decently i don't think he's gonna do like he's gonna beat the amber or the lc but he's just gonna be happy getting his own farm 
I'm just trying to see how they actually kill the alchemist. Like, they have to go spirit vessel, I think, on Somnus this game. Otherwise, Bristol and Elk is... Yep, difficult. or Mirana. I think That's, one of them. Yeah, yeah actually, Mirana can definitely... It depends uh, on the game, because they have this kind of tri setup. set up. Centaur, Ember, and LC carry. Maybe they want the Ember to play a little bit more of a core role, like a real core role. So maybe they would uh, let the Mirana get the vessel, but... I still think that if Ember can get it early, it's good to get it early against the Elk. And there's also the Phoenix and the Bristol, which the Vessel is also really, really good against the Sunray and the Living Armor. I feel so like PSG LGD have no damage. If, like, if, if Chalice doesn't have a good, like, if they don't get dual victories, like, Coddle just kind of amplifies your team damage with the with the Chocker. It's nice for the Ember, but, you know, they don't have this. I guess the, they, can... uh, they are supposed to win their lane, so that's why. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with, with the fact that maybe they are going to lag a bit damage, but their heroes will do better in the laning phase. So whenever you do better in the laning phase, you're going to be able to use the network to make up with what you're lacking. Yeah, we'll see how they're actually able to transition this with the laning stage if we might see a couple of heroes swapping off. Side lanes are very strong. Obviously, you don't expect the elk to win his lane, but it's all about the side lane whenever you have an elk because whenever you win your side lanes it's going to mean that you can control the bounty runes that's what the elk cares you know he doesn't really care about his own matchup in the lane that much he cares about his team winning their lane so they can get the bounty runes for him we are, all, we are all essentially the slaves for the elk yeah this is this is a game where we're just he's, he's the boss he's the he's the one that wants all the wants all the bounties as we're gonna see you know this is the good thing about the elk at least you know he's able to provide us some nice entertainment for the rune fights <laughs> nice entertainment oh well, it kind of is you know last game was a bit entertaining you know we saw a couple kills here and there so you know if there's anything to 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 point out about the alchemist is that hey thanks for giving us a couple more fights around these bounties maybe some bigger ones uh, that in that regard but We'll see uh, you, you, you sound like that guy that would be really salty if it's like just 10 kills in a 30 minutes game. Well, no, I games, just... No, because that's still beautiful Dota as well. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, like, it's... You know, you can get... Oh, yeah, this just, guy, these yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. are just playing for the farm, not playing for the hero kills. <laughs> well... No, nah, I'm more down for a little bit of farm as well, you know. It's still... Still able to watch Dota and... And talk about it as we see. Oh, Aaron. Oh, FY should be able to snag the bounty here. So two of these? No. Yeah, two, two of these, yes. So, to be honest, I prefer this kind of Dota rather than, you know, games where you have AM. <laughs> yeah, same. The four protect one is just like, it's, I, it's just like AM, it just like hits this stage and then just is the strongest. Right. And, yeah. and you already know what's going to happen. Yeah. All right, AM. Is this uh, has BKB, Manta, Basher, uh, Ab Abyssal, you, 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 and Battle for you. you know the game is like going south for you. Yeah, I'm enjoying the games where they're just kind of fast paced. You know, we're seeing so much action and a lot of outplays it feels like right now as well. Like, it's just everyone's at another level. You know, people playing high level Dota. And as we're going to see, so you, you brought up the uh, the Nature's Prophet against the Sensor. It's actually going to be the position, uh, the one Prophet instead of that five to do with a centaur so he's still well, going to be able to get some retaliate sacks very easily so. i think he started with or he started with a ring of protection i think it's kind of nice so i've seen some certain players whenever they go against nature's proper they go with two ring of protections so you have plus four i've seen it work so this time all 11 gets one i'm surprised um, he didn't as well into the the uh train protector lane because he hits goddamn hard as well yeah it's actually a lot of value to get uh two he actually is in trouble might be able to tp out if he cuts through his tree. And how about bot lane? How is bot lane doing? I guess this lane should be a wash with the LC and Bristol both going to be able to just farm. I don't think anyone can stop either from farming. Yeah, Let's look at the fun lane. The top lane is the, the top, fun lane. The top lane's the fun lane? Alright, we'll keep our attention on the top lane, but yeah, even in the meantime. Uh, what is the... So what's the purpose of the, the coddle? Like a lot of time I see coddles are getting picked up to, you have a nice hero to pair up with the chakra or the ult. I mean, the ulti is still incredibly nice. It feels like just the laning stage, that hero is very bad. And then if you're able to get out of the laning stage, then you feel you feel good. Um, he's decent in the laning phase, I think. Not that bad. I mean, he's not uh, as good as before because of the nerfs, but I wouldn't say he's like, he really, really, sure. yeah, he's really weak. He's just uh, average. Uh, but I think with the Ember, 
that's a very decent combination, having the double slight double. chase. Or even the 11 arrow, top actually might end up falling. He will face. I think the Orb of Venom actually ticked him out there. So thank you very much. I'll take the, uh, the first kill. This is kill. a very hard lane. They have Orb of Venom plus Blightstone on the lane. And Mirana doesn't really feel like she can fight the, the Trian head on. So she's resulted into just doing whatever she's doing right now. Trying to roam and kill careers. Uh, oh, nice. But Alper Should... already got the south, so that's that's not too bad for him. I mean, do you, do you want Ember to go for a point of chains here and then have kill threat onto the Elk so you can then kind yeah, of set up for your honor? Yeah. Level four, you could go for it. That's uh, I think that's very. Or you could just save the skill point, you know. Like if the Mirana is not coming to gang and you need the other point in something else, then you can use it. That would also be a good way of uh, utilizing the Mirana. You only skill it if she comes in gang, but you keep it open. Yeah, that's the power of being able to kind of hold on to the skill points here. He will even just go for the chains anyway, so. Has oh, the, the, the 1 1 2 build, but yeah, top lane. We see Old 11's oh, yeah. taking a good that chunk is... of damage here, unfortunately. I mean, TP's on cooldown. Trying so... to save for the Ring of Health, brother. That's. Uh, He's in oh, a bit TP. of a tricky spot. Boogie should still be able to snag him on the back line. He's actually doing. Oh, he slides oh, a lot longer than what I expected there, but. I mean, Moogie. Oh, yeah. His oh, career? He, oh, he didn't see the career? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> it's, it's, kind of it's kind of blending in, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, there's that no big, vision. That big, that sucky man, it's just... Yeah, you don't have vision until you go near. So oh, mid lane, you yeah. see the arrow. Right, Alchemist. So we'll have Faith rotating. Let's have the leech seed in case to help out, but they're going to still try and put a, a nice attempt onto AQ here. FY tanking up the tower, so... Nice to be careful, but... I like, I like what the Trian is doing here. The moment the Mirana is missing, he's just like making sure he mirrors his movement. And right now, uh, Ember gets the 4 minute much needed rune. So he could uh, refill his uh, HP and mana. Even a shocker from X Nova. Wow. Alright, you know who's the boss in the team when that happens here. <laughs> yeah, he's just ordering, give me that mana. Oh, yeah. I need you to refill my bottle right now, right now, go back to base. Just give it to him and just walk all the way back instead of doing anything else. Go, go die to the tower so I can refill my bottle. And and his... There we go, straight on top of AQ. Bax is going to try and help out, but unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot of Phoenix can do. And that's close to the Our bounties demons. as well, yeah. So you already see the supports are making a movement, putting some pressure on towards the Alchemist, who he's got a stack at the medium. Oh, he's got a couple of stacks. It looks like it's a triple at the, the hard by the triangle camp. But they are all set up right at. They're actually oh, my oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, no. No. Nature's Prophet. Oh, okay. Nice. No Salvage. Right. Salvage. What does he. Oh, uh, did he miss any creeps? He didn't. Okay. Yeah. He would have been one, good. One I, rune. I missed yeah. one creep for this. You better win me the game. So, I mean, there's three newbie heroes, but I mean, the elk doesn't really do anything right now. We see the pressure they're trying to put on mid. I mean, this is the first wave of catapults, so you see both the supports, both teams rotating the supports to defend and get ready to maybe even be aggressive uh, uh, on this lane. But so far, for the Alchemist team, it's more about holding this tower. This tower right here is your most important tower if you have an Elk. You don't want the tower to go down, because once it goes down, it means that the Radiant team is going to have access to go into your jungle, and that's when your Elk is going to you know, have a very hard time farming. Do you... So what do you do then if you're... How do you skill build if you're the Prophet? Do you go more points in, in the Living Armor to keep the tower alive? Do you go more points in the Nature's Grasp just to try and deal with the creep wave here? Mm, I think the the Grasp is like too much value to pass up though. You still probably want to max it. But I can understand because you have an L, you want to keep your towers alive as much as possible so he can farm. Like that's the number one worry about L. If your towers go down, you have no place to farm. That's why when you look at professional matches, whenever a team picks out, if it's not the overall last pick, you will see that the, the other team go for like partner, death Prophet, Dragonite to push your towers. Yeah, that's, that's, how you, yeah, that's just how you take away the map from the out. But she's getting some farm in the stacks right now. And guess who's getting some experience? A good old Phoenix. We brought up last game. You absolutely love experience. Going to try and get the level 6 and then the tome as well. But at least they're... Uh, okay, that, that, that might not be a good idea to steal that tome from yeah, the Yeah, no, so definitely, definitely people don't <laughs> recommend just... it. You come in my pubs. I don't do that. But Chelsea's level 6, so they're going to chase down Wizard here. He's kind of stacking up the quills, but... 
Strike with the Jewel. It's plenty of damage. Shellus can go to find the first victory and the value. TP instantly down, but. I don't want to be any bad influence, Aries. You know, that, someone's gonna. Yeah, I mean, you told sense. me to do this in my pubs. <laughs> but I got reported oh. in low prior. You have to come to my party and help me with my low oh, prior. Don't I? I can't remember the last time I was in low prior, so I ain't gonna do that. I'm a I'm a good good little good tushy boy. You know, got that maxed out behavior score. Top lane, right. Mugi. Mugi. Trouble. So they have Fy to follow up as well. That's a nice kill. They might be able to pressure out the tower now with the Prophet dead. You see x -Nova's already going to ward up the jungle, so they're just starting to infiltrate. And it looks like Somnus is as well going for that Spirit Vessel. So once it at a relatively good timing, Mahana again has treads as well. So I guess it... Interesting. Um, yeah. Would you have preferred for going Arcanes maybe? Oh, I, don't think, yeah. I mean, if you don't get yeah. trades, you're getting arcanes. The trades is nice for the uh, the attack speed as well. I don't know how much you want. Yeah, exactly. But do, do you need the attack speed though? Because you have it with the lead bot lane. Chels trying to man fight here. Actually turns around with a jewel. Trim is taking way too much. So Chels, second victory from this game here. He's got TP up in a couple of seconds. And I actually think Chels is going to be able to stay alive. Yeah. Raptor Nature is going to do a lot of damage though. Uh, for ticks. Oh, 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 that was, was that the last? Was, oh that was the Lord. last one, right? I was just oh, waiting shit. for it. I, I'm like, wait, it's going to come through, right? As we see in mid lane, they're just putting so much pressure on AQ. He's got double brace to treads. He's going to turn on FY here. Still, AQ's getting the full treatment from the Ember Spirit. Oh, armor. Missed a couple of remnant, but he's going to be able to stay alive. Faith with the living armor keeps AQ up, and now Ember is still got one remnant. Actually, so we'll be able to make it away here. But the main thing is, is they kill FY. They keep also the Oak alive. We're not done just yet, though. I mean, Somnus is putting so much pressure on this mid lane, though. Yeah, we... I can't wait to look at the fight recap. He hasn't popped out because the fight kept happening. Yeah, God, I the how much the that, was, that was it like, had what? to be the last tick. That did so much damage. 400, 500 damage? Oh, let's see. <laughs> what? 1,000? Okay, that's two heroes. So he landed the ult yeah. on two heroes and it was 1,200 damage. Oh, yeah. That was... So it's like, what, 600 a piece? <laughs> oh, God. Dude, look at how Somnus is actually playing this. He just does not give a damn. They, know they have no just... stuns. Yep. They have no stuns. Yep. How can they kill him? Bounty spawning. Let's get the bounties from the elk. They might... Are they going to walk up the higher ground here? Looks... They're thinking about it. x -Nova can go snag with the blinding light. I got a couple of heroes, but oh, Wizard still gets it. So Moogie's already snagged one. He's still taking a fair bit of damage though, and uh, Neutral's helping out. Somnus finds a kill. AQ pops the ultimate's gonna try and turn, but now the supernova hey. dropped as well. They've got the stampede. This actually might be enough to keep them alive here. It's Phoenix, does he want to try and follow up, however? Old 11 hunting Moogie top. Uh, <laughs> he wants to get a little bit of revenge for that bounty, gonna get snagged, but if F1 oh, can land an arrow, he's gone to the choke point in the stairs yeah, here, I'm so the setup up. will connect he's it, dead. and oh uh, yeah, Moogie, he's just gonna try and waste as much time as possible, <laughs> nice body blocks, and no, mm, unfortunately, like deny, deny, oh, <laughs> that was a bit ambitious. He's like being like way too greedy, you know, after he TPs in, he, he grabs the rune, he tries to farm the camps around the, the rune, like the, this. Yeah. The old triangle here. Um, let's paste the price for it. Um, we see the Bristleback pushing out the bot lane, so he has a Vanguard uh, completed. So he's gonna be able to try to defend the towers, but the mid tier one, like I said, is the most important tower for the Alchemist team, and the Bristol is not here to defend the tower. He may just Prophet is dead, so probably they feel like they can't defend anyways. They're really struggling. I mean, when the enemy team oh, against elk. an alchemist have this net worth lead, and you are, and you've already lost the tier one mid now, like you just see how Radiant are playing. They're just going to start losing map control, losing towers, and you know, if the alchemist, where is he going to be able to get his catch up farm? Like the good thing is, is that kind of Moogie can shove in the lanes. Maybe that'll give him enough space. But you see that they kind of just uh, put the, one hero there. The dire is going to be on lockdown right now. <laughs> It's also the good thing with the Coddle. Like, it, I'm surprised actually Coddle has more points in the Chakra. I guess it is the nice combo with the Ember. But to be able to deal with oh, the lanes and the Prophet is, is going to get caught once again. They need to hold the stuns here until what, 11 closes the distance. and It is really strong with the Ember though. I think you, you, you cannot underestimate the double slight chains. Yeah, yeah and it, it is. And even, even for the double 
Double double edge. Maybe that would be also a nice plus of damage. The egg, but now the will nice be ball. Charles is unable to deal with the Phoenix egg right now. This could be a decent fight on the back line. Wizard's going to show up as well. X Nova will we'll try and use the same to give him a little bit of protection. Charles with the double damage rune does end up cleaning one kill. Stays alive as well, so it's a, it's a two for one though. I mean, that was what the Phoenix egg lacked in the last game, like the protection during the team fights. The Axe wasn't able to do that very well in the last game, but this game, uh, the Trian did a good job in that fight, uh, making sure that he waited till the last moment to get that overgrowth off. So let's see, Alti is down. The Phoenix and the uh, Trian Alti is down. Can Radiant do something right now? They should try to smoke and invade. This is the area that they want to take right now. They're area. about to get Spear Vessel as well. Like, this is massive yeah. for them. This is the only area that Elf Shows has right now. Man fighting down bot. Oh, wow. Chuck up the really? jewel. That's a lot of damage onto the what? front line of Bristle here. Chalice. Ooh, Holy fine. shit. Oh, uh, Moogie. <laughs> yep, you're going to double back as fast as possible. Shit, the other TPR. But that? mid lane, what is that? we're not done. On top of the Phoenix tier, I mean, they don't have ult tiers, so PSG OGD, they feel incredibly safe with making this movement. We'll be able to get the dive away, unless that arrow... Sh no, it's not long range. Man, he does so much damage with the 4 point impress to attack, with the attack speed. Jeez, that was like... That was a Bristleback. Yeah, he's got Vanguard as well. I mean, he didn't feel like a Bristleback to me. Yeah, it did not. That was... Wait, what level? He's level 9. I guess he does have a pretty big level advantage as well. Good, but... Oh wow, he's level 12 on LC. Yeah, you're right. So his he's spirit vessel completed and... Dude, he's richer than the elk. Yeah, and this... Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I... I don't want to sound grim, but I don't know how Dyer are going to give enough space to AQ. Like, I feel like once he gets this Radiance, like... Is that... I uh, Hopefully they can turn that one, like that one fight around, but... I feel like he's Believe. not going to still be able to get BKB off the... Yeah, Believe, that's all they need. He keeps man fighting here with a Chakra. Max is going to get caught. You've seen what damage he takes, though. They need to believe in the Phoenix plus Trian combo. We saw what it could do mid, so... We saw what it could do mid. Uh, there's a blink now on Chellis, so they really want to ramp up the pressure. Chellis going to start getting involved. Centaur is even going to blink, so they're going to have double blink now. I mean, this is this is big for PSG OGD. Right, right now, they have to chase. Because they already took this area, so the Dyer has only this area. So now the Radiant is running towards the top. It's excellent play for LGD, but Sento is a bit too far ahead. Stampede. So the Stampede after the overgrowth if need be. Radiant have the outpost control. Nice sprout there with the egg combo. They've got to be careful. Radiant, they can deal with the egg and they're going to turn this fight as well. But the will of his drop doesn't actually control up anyone. So a bit of a whiff in that regards, but it's not going to matter. They'll find two. Yes, they will. Moogie gets caught there. Very nice. Oh, That's the oh. saving grace. <laughs> is that oh, what? If they lose two, they're gonna get they get all four bounties as well. Okay, well, hashtag that's actually hashtag probably worth. worth. That's actually probably worth. They got four Wait, bounties. Wait, there's no chance AQ AQ just solo smoke. It is worth the trillion. That that oh, I mean the profit. No. The profit is not gonna carry the game. The elk is gonna carry oh, the game. He might be in trouble. Someone's doing a lot of damage. Yes, the rage soon. He should be okay. Even X Nova is gonna try and help out. Yeah, with the rage. Somnus just, he's a nuisance right now. Oh my lord, yes. and now Chalice, he wants Waxy instead. You know, screw the Alchemist, let's get a free kill. At least stack up the damage. I mean, that would have been difficult, especially with Trina alive. He was trying to smoke towards the enemy jungle. Yeah, I saw that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just has that was... to get out. So the, the nature's prophet is farming here. The Elk should, the yeah, Elk wants to farm. <laughs> Their jungle is just not safe right now. I mean, the LGD is doing a really, really good job at just shifting areas all the time. They take this area, they chase the enemy to the left, they spoke towards the top. And look at the vision. They have wards on both sides of the map. And right now, I, I feel like the, the, the next set of wards they want, they want wards around here. Like their own jungle, so they want to see if the Prophet is doing this shenanigans. Wizard, now this is a difficult kill. They do you have the Spirit Vessel, however, maybe it's not going to be too difficult. Get the so? dual damage. Oh, it's on oh. cooldown. It was on cooldown. Cool Oh man, no, nah, they not. They should have held it. They should have held it that four seconds longer. Yep, it is. Chalice uh, is not happy. Infinite uh, scaling, you know. You can always report your teammate for that. <laughs> Why are you stopping me from carrying the game in yeah. the eventual fact that the game lasts 80 minutes? I will have unlimited damage. Unlimited. <laughs> Max power. We might see Waxy. I don't. Oh, I mean, actually, there's an orchid somewhere. Will the Wiz gonna get dropped? 
Control's up too, but just to follow up afterwards right now, I mean, so much damage from Somnus. Paired up with the Chakra, just trying to shred through Mugi. He does have the Essence Ring, but that Spirit Vessel really taking away hmm. the full effects there. I mean, I, I feel like he should be, like, continuing playing outside of the map, but he's still here. But this is very, very dangerous. Even the Elk doesn't want to come here. Look at the Elk. He's like, going to get serious. mental. The Elk's here, the Nature's Prophet is here, and they cut the waves. Every, every time they come. I love what Exnova like, is doing as well. He's just they hunting. Need to, they need to get wards around this area, like on their own jungle. They should stop warding like the enemy jungle. So he gets one ward here. Uh, this is great. So uh, he's going to be able to scout this this side. And Elk is leading back to base. So they might want to... I was going to say, can they smoke? Fight. Yeah, because... They already see FY him. down bot. Yeah, I don't... It's definitely not going to be a, a good fight. I mean, maybe if they can take it on, on their higher ground with a ward potentially, but it's not going to be an easy like, one. They're going to be careful because Wizard is not as tanky. Once they get the jewel, he's going to turn on the front line here. They have their egg on the higher ground, but I don't think it's enough here. Bristle does end up dropping. Hold 11. Bunch of damage here. Stampede. It actually does still get clipped, but they've got to be careful here. AQ, half HP, they get the Sun Raid. There's a couple of Spirit Vessel charges. Moogie's gonna TP on the backline, so we'll end up cleaning the kill oh, with the PC OGD. They just shred through the backline. The sustain is just not enough. This Spirit Vessel playing too much work. Still gonna try and dive Moogie Chakra. here. Chakra? Mm -hmm. Orchid. Next Nova is trying to help out, but the Orchid's actually working a lot here. Somnus able to stay alive. They force out the buyback as well from the tree. Let's see uh, uh, Chalice clean living, living armor plus the essence ring. Give him enough to survive there. So does this open the rush for them? I guess Radiant doesn't really have the best. They have Medallion on FY. I feel like they can take yeah. it with that. Actually, that's true. LC does a lot of right. Look at his dude. He has two hundred damage. Oh my god. That's before. He's about to have the... too. Yeah. That's before proking the armlet. Oh my god. Yeah, he's a he's a scary man. I mean, where where's the damage coming from? He don't know. He doesn't. I mean, no damage talents either. Arrow no, off the mark. That was a bit of a stray one. So that was just, that's just the van brace and the the missile hammer. That is true. Yeah, the van brace is helping out. And the armlet gives just Radiant fifteen damage. Seven. That's it. As a as a basic one, when it's not active. Yeah, but but it's a thirty one. That's so attractive when you turn it on. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, that's what turns you into most Moogie uh, again. Moog? There is a TP from the Mirana. FY is going to be able to cancel this. However, mid lane though. Somnus is going to run out forward aggressively here. Wizard holding the higher ground. Bounty runes. Get me my bounty <laughs> runes, says Elk. What? Profit? What? I can't TP, but I... They've got a ward around kind of this bottom side here for the bounty, but Somnus is taking a lot of damage there with the jewel. They might be able to melt through the ult, they're going to be careful. He can get the ultimate off power, but hasn't used it just yet. The Will of Wisp creating a little bit of havoc here, so Elk's going to end up falling. Dream Protector will join him in the afterlife as well, but now the Legion Commander brought back with the Will of Wisp turn, puts him directly in front of the rest of PSG. Oh, that is, bitch. That is a huge, huge blow towards the Elk's team. And now they're not going to be able to even get uh, all the bounty runes here, okay? The property uh, came top to take two of the bounty runes, so that's a consolation prize, if you would call it. Yeah, it's a thin, it's, it's a thin one, because, I mean, Radiant have a, a 7,000 net worth lead right now, and, and they're just walking on pyre ground. And this that's is... against the Alps, so it's in reality even more, because yeah. you're supposed to be a hit as the Alps. Yeah, you can almost double that, honestly. And they are really struggling. They might be going to force some abilities on YXC, maybe get a... <laughs> Jealous is shredding with the death side. I don't think AQ wants to be there either. You don't feel as tanky right now as we see. The Gs are dropped and PSG LGD. That's a clean 2-0 from them. What a performance by, I think, the Mirana in both games from FY. Starting to make me believe in this hero once more. After watching Kaka in the last couple of days and now FY, this hero feels really good right now. I feel like it's got immense value versus the Phoenix as well. Like uh, this game we saw a couple of decent eggs but... But if you think about how the hero functions, he's very strong in the lane. He can build whatever item that the team needs. And he does give you like the aura, tech speed aura during team fights with the leap. And the Moonlight Shadow is kind of like a built-in smoke somewhat. So it's very useful in the current meta where laning is imp the most important thing, which I feel Mirana provides you with that. And he does uh, 
really well in terms of transitioning into taking towers later with either a moonlight into a pickup or just a leap attack speed to kill the buildings. Yeah, right now he shows like he's it kind of ticks all the boxes, the majority of them. And I mean, PSG OGD play really well around it. You know, newbie last pick this alchemist, try and have a little bit of the cheese. But unfortunately, that the uh, the lineup from PSG OGD just they have a really good time in the leaning stage. They take objectives and then they do a great job at forcing the alchemist and the prophet really to actually farm on the opposite side of the map. And once this is happening, you know you're in a bit of a tricky spot there. So with that being said, PSG OGD, a clean 2-0 over newbie. This is our first series of the night though, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have another one very shortly. It'll be RNG up against Sparking Arrow. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for that one. 